everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful Friday morning or day or whatever it is time you're watching this or Saturday. I don't know. I'm just glad that you're here with me hanging out. We're snarking on Dr. D. Dozen today because it's Friday and we got to feel good. It's feel good flannel Friday and that's what we're here for. And also on Friday and as you know we spin the wheel for everybody who's a member past the first tier on every Friday except for the last and everybody on every tier gets on the old wheel and if you win you win like a sweet hoodie or t-shirt and i got some canadian snacks on the way i got new stickers coming out so you win a prize pack it's not just a shirt it's a prize pack okay so if you win you win but i've been being copyright striked by this song that's being played on here now so i have to change the pitch which is why it sounds so weird we'll see if it keeps working i don't know we have to change the song to something else but uh otherwise we dance the kids like to come in and dance this one have some fun and then we get on with the snark yeah baby Do your kids make you put gibbets on your uh, your Crocs? I like the gibbets. Maybe I should get a gibbet and give that away for everybody who wears Crocs. If you don't have gibbets, get some gibbets. Your kids will love you. Breaking my heart every year. Every year breaking my heart. I don't know if they're gonna make the wild card. I don't think they will. I'm sad. Vladdy, what happened, buddy? What happened? Even Chappie, what's going on? Damn Blue Jays. Anyway, if you know, you know. If you don't, you're not a real fan of baseball. I love blue. I love baseball with all my heart, but this year just broke my heart. Again, I got. And I watch the Leafs sometimes, and every year the Leafs break my heart. You know what doesn't break my heart? Wrexham. They don't break my heart. Wrexham season two is out now. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait to head to Wrexham and catch a game sometime. I just gotta make it work. I gotta go on this cruise. Oh, Sam. Are you okay, Sam? Pom pom. Where are you, buddy? Come here. Come say hi. Well, come say hi. He's got the, the lament. The Sam Lament does it every once in a while. Roni does it too, but Roni does it at night when we're all sleeping. Roni will do this thing where he meows really, really loudly, and you're like, what's going on? You go see him, and he's always got either a shoe or a teddy bear in his mouth. And he's like, I got something for you. I don't know why he does it. It's really weird, but Sam has got the lament. Come here, Sam, and come say hi. Come say hi. Hi. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he'll pop over later. Anyway, let's get to this family of 13 Walmart haul. Hi everyone, it's Alicia hey, with the yeah. Doherty Dozen, and today we are doing a Walmart the haul. The Doherty 13? All for my family of 13. But first, water. Excuse me? What is happening right now? What's happening? Is there an asteroid coming? What's going on? What's happening right now? <laughs> I don't, guys, I don't practice pod screens they just happen but i guess if you're like this on a normal i mean it's really easy to find a shitty pod screen because that's just who you are <laughs> she changed her cup too is that one of those stanley cups it's like hundred dollars i don't get the stanley cup thing guys like i get the stanley cup for the nhl but i don't get the stanley thing it's just a cup you go get the same damn cup at walmart Tal makes them, I think, or something like that. There's like, uh, there's other brands. They're literally the exact same thing, but people still hold on to those name brand things. It's just about the style. It's like so silly. Would I get one if they're on sale? Probably if they're on sale. Would I show you? Probably not. I like this cup that I got from the game. But you need to chill on these Stanley Cups, okay? Just relax. I know. This is shocking. Yeah. <laughs> It really is shocking. Holy shit. Woo! You all right? It's probably Coke. She's lying. I drank both cups of my coffee, though, already, so... Both cups. That size. Your heart is going to fail. Okay? It's going to fail. I got to drink some water during the day. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay, this is my, like, midweek mini haul. <laughs> 
Another mini haul. Just get the shit you need on the first haul. But I'm also coupling it with, so we're gonna get like the stuff we didn't get. That's a mini haul, oh, okay. At, at Wegmans on the weekend. She didn't have a Wegmans haul though. What? There's no Wegmans haul on her channel. That's odd. I didn't see a Wegmans haul, did I? Maybe I just missed it. Cause I don't want your bull crap. Mama 11, after school, Mom of 11, three days ago, three days ago. Man, she posts a lot of videos, dude. <laughs> Josh made chili, apparently. I should look at that one. Uh, family of 13 grocery haul. Okay, there it is. That's the Wegmans haul there. So I missed it. Oh, well. A lot of chips and shit, I see. And then I'm also doing like... It's odd, though. I should show you this. She literally, on her hauls, her shopping haul videos, she pulls in 67,000 views. But every other video, like after school snack or Josh making chili or morning routines, like she's almost, she's under 30 and some often under 20. So anytime she shops, it's like 60,000. That you those used to be hundreds of thousands. Like look, go back on her channel like a year ago. This is quite interesting. Holy, she makes she posts a lot of videos. <laughs> she makes so much money, it's crazy. For not doing anything. Here we go, a year ago. Family of 14 net, net NYC prep and grocery shopping, 585,000 views. Okay, let's just go to normal shopping. Family 14 grocery shopping, 512,000 views. Family 14 Walmart haul, 874,000 views. And then her Mama 12 morning routines used to get 147,000 views a year ago. They're now getting like 12,000 views, everybody. Holy shit, how the mighty have fallen. Look, let's go back a little bit further. Look, Mama 12 morning routine, 258,000 views. Unboxing live, and she's got Deshaun and uh, Nevea in the video. 300,000 views. And she still has her making money, residuals, off of Nevea. Nevea's owed money. I hope she gets it. And look, she's got this Unboxing Live with uh, D and N in it. 300,000 views. Still making money off N. Still. She's, N is owed money, and I mean big money. That 300,000 view video, and they're going to watch it because she's in the thumbnail. It's not just a matter of how much she's in the video, but of people clicking on it because she's in the thumbnail, she's owed more money for that too. Look, Family 14 Weekly Grocery Haul, 526,000 views. Guys, look at what's happening when you just don't care and don't work hard, and you just do the same thing over and over that you think people want to watch. Her new haul, let's go a week ago, okay? Let's do a week. Family 13 grocery haul, 98,000 views. Now, that's still a lot of views. Don't get me wrong, but it's not in the 500,000 range that she used to get. Hey, Family 14 midweek mini grocery haul, 70,000. And then her new morning routines, look, 34,000. This was two weeks ago, so it's like it's max, 34,000. She used to get hundreds of thousands of views on these videos. So here you go, everybody. It doesn't pay to be a douche. It does for a little while, though, unfortunately. It still pays now, too. They're still getting paid a lot of money. But she's never going to be at that level ever again. Unless something massively viral goes, happens on her channel, which is not going to happen. And you know what's going to happen? It's going to be a scandal that breaks eventually. And she's going to have to leave the internet. Mark my words. You heard it here. I'm generally right about all this stuff. I was right about eight passengers, too. Been talking about these people for a long time. I, you know what I was thinking about the other day? And I'm not thinking it's me who did it. Okay, I'm not. So don't get all twisted. But every family I tend to talk about tends to collapse. Maybe I'm just catching it at the right time. I don't know. But most of the families I've been talking about all have taken a massive downward swoop to the ground. Even the LeBrants, man. He's trying to make his daughter into a, a pop star and the song is atrocious. Like it's absolutely balls. And it's not her fault. It's her, it's Cole, her stepdad's fault for forcing her to do this shit and be like Rebecca Black and get bullied on the internet for which we'll do a video on that. But I'm telling you, even the Ace family, every single person I've ever covered on this, on this, none of them have grown, like have like kept their view counts up. None of them, none. And I think that's not just me again, not just me, but I think the overall, the overarching theme of all this is people are starting to catch on that this stuff is bullshit and they're stopping to watch it and they're stopping and they're not watching it anymore. And that's what we're here for. That's what we're doing. So congratulations to you guys for waking up. I love it. A sick prep stock up because like if I'm prepared, then maybe we won't get all of these. Don't lie. You look at her thumb like I do the whole time. You're looking for it. Viruses that are going around right now. We've had like a minor cold, but that's it. That's it. We eat floor fights, but that's it. Um, 
Yeah, so I... <laughs> All my stuff is dirty, but, you know, that's it. <laughs> I don't, my kids don't eat any of the food I cook, but that's it. All they eat is cereal. I want to get, like... The medicines, the cough medicines. Oh, I got Claritin D yesterday at Walgreens. Uh, I want to get bleach, a spray bottle. You know, like all that stuff. Like mm. if you get sick, you need, but you're like, oh, I'm t- <laughs> right. I don't know what you just said. Nobody knows what you just said, but you still did the wheeze laugh. <laughs> no, Alicia. That's not a wheeze laugh worthy laugh. Eh? When Josh burns the F in Turkey, that's funny. <laughs> you burned the shit out of that turkey. <laughs> Papa has turned down his hearing aids, so you'll have to yell at him. <laughs> I'm making that into a shirt. Okay, everybody, Papa's turned down his hearing aids. So you're gonna have to yell at him. <laughs> this is awesome. That's the stuff we're gonna stock up on today. Okay, lots of meds. Okay. Get them to sleep through the whole winter. Uh, and then, like, I feel like because we'll be prepared. We so you're just getting meds, and this video is 40 minutes. Don't get sick, right? That's right? <laughs> Your arms are too short. Let's go. You're like a T Rex with ugly thumbs. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. And I gotta do this quick. Quick. You can do it. 40 minutes is quick. I don't think I got my bags back in here, but I think I have like some spare. Spare bag. Yeah, your thumb. Bags. Yeah, I got a couple. You don't even put shit in bags. You just throw it in the back of the van. Don't even lie on your dirty floors. So I don't want you to stop. Okay. Well, you're better than nothing. You're not better than nothing. Nothing is better than you. That's kind of a burn. That's like a sick burn. I'm burn. at a different Walmart today because I want to see if they have more of those sandwich containers. You American Walmarts, I'm jelly. I'm gonna like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm heading to the States too with Tyson because of the cruise. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop at a Canadian Walmart. I'm gonna show them, walk you around, show you things, and do my shopping haul and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna compare it to an American Walmart in like Florida or whatever, because that's where we're going, because we're gonna get on the cruise. And I'm gonna, t you guys are gonna be flabbergasted at the difference, especially in prices and size, okay? Your Walmart, your Walmarts could fit like three of our Walmarts in them, generally. Like we have some big Walmarts, but they're rare. Like, we know the biggest Walmart is here. Like, your normal Walmart is twice or triple the size of our normal Walmart. But your big Walmarts are, like, the size of our province. I love for the kids' lunches. The other Walmart still doesn't have any back in stock. I Spiek. I sold out. Spiek. All right, I'm going to start over on this side of the store. There's, like, the home and pharmacy, and then over there. No one talks about the internal um, stabilization of cameras enough. Cause she's walking with her like weird limp, like pirate limp, and that shit is still steady. Like I have a gimbal for my camera and for my phone and for my other. I have like three gimbals. Okay, gimbals are like the best thing ever invented. And you know what a gimbal does? Like keeps your camera like steady, right? It's just it's a gimbal, so it keeps on both axes, front, back, and whatever. All the axes, it keeps it steady. So when you walk, it keeps it steady. But internal stabilization on cameras has actually come so far you don't even need stabilizers anymore because again, she's walking like a one-legged pirate with ugly thumbs, and it's steady. So, praise Gimbal. It's like the grocery side. I'm gonna start with the medicines and stuff. Door's not working. Uh, you're a door. Sorry. Oh my God. Cartwood for the mini help. Ow. Bought the Claritin D, but I forgot to take it, so I still need to do that. <laughs> Moron. Okay. So you're gonna buy a whole box of Claritin so you could take one in Walmart? That's cool. Leading the wild cherry deliciously seasonings. I don't know why I said it that way, but I'm feeling that. Thumbs in the picture. Do you really need two bags of these things? Two bags. One's fine. One's fine. They're lozenges. 
how many how many lozenges how many lozenges are they taking, lady? The shit left of it, okay, is less than half the price, and it is literally the same thing. It's the same thing. It does the exact same. No name brand medicine is the same damn medicine, same recipe, everything. That's very telling. When she sticks her ugly thumb on that box to pick that one, that's like when she picks Nikes, that's when she does the Stanley Cup. It's all about like name brand shit. That Equate shit is literally probably made in the same damn factory as that one. By the same hands, same everything. Don't be dumb, okay? Save money. Drink water. Your thumb is in picture. Oh, I want to get, like, vitamin... What is that stuff Josh likes? Vita-C, I think it's called. It's called booze. He likes booze. <laughs> Have you guys ever, like... I think they have NyQuil now that's just without the cold stuff. That just, have you ever had a NyQuil sleep? Sometimes you just got to do a NyQuil sleep, right? If you're sick or whatever. A NyQuil sleep is like the sleep of the dead. Like, if your house is burning down around you and you're in NyQuil sleep, it's over. Right? You're done. NyQuil sleep is like, when my wife, like, she rarely takes any medicine. But, like, when I do, apparently I talk in my sleep when she does. It's like, NyQuil brings out the sleep talkers. I'll be like, is that? <laughs> it's like Joe Biden when I'm taking when I take Nyquil for bedtime, right? So it's about it. So it's about it. Yes, I'm a Canadian making fun of your American politics. Why are all the people running for office 488 years old? Okay, yeah, we've got a young guy. He's kind of a douche too. I mean, you can't you can't circumnavigate the douchiness of politicians, but we've got some young ones. Even our current. Uh, head of the lead of the opposition, which is uh, Pierre Polyev or whatever his name is, he's he's like forty or something like that, forty five or fifty. I don't know how old he is. He's young. Your politicians literally are turning to dust in front of our eyes. You got what's her name over there? Uh, Nancy Pelosi with the expensive ice cream. I'm running for office again because they deserve me. <laughs> you guys, your politics is hilarious. By the way, I know a lot of people don't like me commenting on politics, but it is hilarious. Your literal president can't even talk anymore. And they're like, yeah, go Biden. Come on. And the guy running, and again, don't call me Trump liker. I don't like Trump, everybody. I absolutely think he's a douche too. He's like going to be 80. Stop it. Maybe your problem is you keep freaking putting in geriatrics. Get somebody young. Andrew Yang for president. I don't know why he didn't run again. I saw John Chris yesterday. And it was, he was hilarious. If you ever get a chance to see John Chris live, do yourself a favor. I don't care if you're Christian or not, you went to church or not, go watch John Chris. He is one of the funniest comedians on the, on the whatever you call it, on the circuit right now. It was so funny. And he, <laughs> it was funny. So I'm saying, go see him. Can they make people, Rob? I feel like I couldn't find that last year. Again. The equate chef, the equate stuff is two ninety eight, opposed to nine ninety six. Okay, it's like it's like a third of the price. Get that stuff. It's the same stuff. It's the same stuff. What if she puts on her thumb if her thumb like goes normal? Let's get ten boxes of it. Holy, this is a the buggy o drugs. Oh my gosh, you're not using that much vapor rub. Okay, I don't care. Like, I still have vapor rub from when I was five that's still in my cupboard somewhere, okay? You're not using that much vapor rub. Right, and if you are, holy shit, check your nostrils. Sprays. Holy, just get the stuff! Is this it? Yes, this is what Josh likes. That shit is like a super cyan like vitamin C explosion in your body if you take it. Apparently, my wife takes it too. I don't like vitamin C, but I take it. But like that stuff's like <laughs> vitamin C punch you right in the nuts. Oh, here's a big one. Emergency vitamin C, tea, zinc. Is there a is there a sunny D flavored one? Okay, don't overdo it on the C. Okay, chill. You, you, you can't. It's like your body can't even absorb half that shit. So just chill. 
think people think you can take more of something and it's like, you know, your body can only absorb a certain amount and then it gets filtered out through your liver and your kidneys and shit. So just t take it easy, okay? Take it easy, man. What's underneath there? Like, oh, it's a bag. See, she gets some no name brand and she gets some name brand. I don't get it. That's a lot of pills in that buggy. Holy shit, man. Maybe don't have that many drugs around your house just to be safe. You know, you have a lot of kids. Kids can get into things. Just, I hope they have a lockable cabinet somewhere with all, like this, this here, man, this is like Breaking Bad type shit. You get, that's a lot of drugs. Okay, over to the kids section. Them. It's, uh, it's just, it, the thumb, you know, the sound of like when like in a horror movie when the bones are breaking on like a zombie, like, that's what it looks like her thumb's doing. It needs an, it needs an exorcism. That's what it needs. That's, that's it. This whole time we were wondering what happened. It just needs an exorcism. Jeez. So simple. Yeah, take it all. Don't leave anybody for anybody else, a-hole. I don't know. Do they have you just got two giant bottles of ibuprofen. I mean, I think she means for kids. There's a, there's a mustache hair going into my nose. Oh, yeah. So I had that bug crawling up the other day. And then my wife, I showed her and she laughed. Then she's like, where is it? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where it went. I just threw it. And she's so mad I didn't get rid of it. <laughs> it's probably somewhere in this house right now plotting revenge. Inchworm revenge. I don't know what he's going to do, but he's thinking about it. I don't know where it went. I don't know. Maybe Sam got him. I doubt it. Sam can't really see much anymore. All right. Oh, this better get better, man. You people tell me watch this stuff, and then I watch it, and it's like, what? Okay. Are you watching this too? Oh my gosh. You have so much Gatorade at home. That's what I'm saying. That's basically Gatorade, but times expensiveness. It's Gatorade, right? Am I wrong? It's got electrolytes in it. I mean, unless that has like way more electrolytes than Gatorade. I don't know. You know, we're snarking on this, but if you have a house full of 11 kids, then yeah. I, look, this is... I, I, can't, I can't understand why she's doing this. Like, you need this shit. These kids are... Have you seen their socks? Have you seen their hygiene? Okay, like every kid. Have you seen any kid's hygiene? That's what I'm saying. So I can't imagine when this sickness hits how it hits at that house. And they're like ground zero for the rest of the school, by the way. It's not like they're getting it from somebody. They're the one bringing it to everybody. Oh yeah, let's get till 2025. Better get five of them. Holy shit, they don't need them. Save someone for someone else. It is cold and flu season coming up. Save some for somebody else, okay? Like you're at Walmart. It is a place where people who don't have a ton of money need to go. So chill, get it at Wegmans or something. All I'm saying is that be responsible for the next person too. Think about that. We had a scare last year. We couldn't get any children's Tylenol. Like that's crazy. And thank God I have amazing viewers who will just send me boxes of Tylenol. I still have some from people that sent me stuff. And thank you so much for doing that. I paid for it, don't worry about it. But you know what I mean? Thank God I can leverage that if I really needed to, or I can go to the States and get it. Some people can't do that. So just be wary of the person coming after. Don't take everything off the shelf. Especially medicine for children. You do not need that much Pedialyte! What are you, is it just, are you putting it in their cereal? What are you doing? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, enough. Pedialyte. That's enough. Sometimes they have those popsicle ones. That's actually a good idea. Popsicle Pedialytes. I suppose you could just make it yourself. That is so much damn pe You don't need that much Pedialyte. Again, you're not feeding your kid an entire liter of Pedialyte when they're sick. You're just giving them some over... Are you? I don't know. I don't know. Holy shit. Alicia. No popsicles. Enough with the Pedialyte. Kathy! I'm going to ask my wife because she's a nurse and she studies this shit. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm here watching Alicia. She's going shopping for like cold medicine and shit like that for kids. Obviously, she's 11 kids. She needs this done, right? Okay. So she gets Pedialyte, right? Yeah. Pedialyte. She puts like eight bottles of Pedialyte in the thing. 
How much PD like can you give your kids? Depends how dehydrated they are. Okay, but like, are you feeding your kid a whole bottle of Pedialyte? Um, can you? Isn't it the same as Gatorade? I feel like it has a higher concentration. Oh yeah, we went to Red Lobster yesterday. It was delicious. I'll tell you a story in a minute. Thank you. Thanks for it. Can you go research it with your nursing research? So story time. Wifey and I had our just celebrated our 16th anniversary, which is like, right? 16 years of annoying each other. It was awesome. And on our first, wait, wait, before you go, on our first year anniversary, did we go to Red Lobster as a joke or did we do it as a real thing? Because we weren't really have any money. You thought it was really classy. Exactly. You thought it was going to be a really classy supper. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's me growing up from poverty and not understanding like that Red Lobster is not really a classy restaurant. But it was, you, you said it was, it was you, but he said it was bad the first year. Oh. Terrible the first year. We went yesterday. It was amazing. It was lovely. I mean, it was we got we got shrimp, we got lobster, we got uh, mussel. No, um, what are those round things? Not mussels. Scallops. 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 Yes, we did. There were scallops. I ate them all. You didn't have any. I ate all the because they were on the skewer. They were scallops. We got pot well, mashed potatoes with like lobster uh, gravy on it. Oh man, it was good. And they gave us chocolate cake. It was actually um, like I we went we went yesterday as like a hey it was our first anniversary let's go back we were laughing ha 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 because we can go to a nice restaurant if we want but we went there and it was awesome and we had really good peach lemonade like it was good it was really good Kathy and I we had a good night last night it was laughy it was laughy laughy yeah let me know let me know PD light contains more electrolytes so it's more concentrated Gatorade is good if you're like teetering the line of like I've barfed a whole bunch of times. Okay, okay, okay. But if you're like dehydrated, Pedialyte. But how much can you... The thing about kids is that they can dehydrate very quickly. So you got to keep a lot on hand. Yeah. So she's good to keep nine bottles of this stuff. I mean, I don't know how much she goes through. We've never used it in our house. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. We've used it a little bit. I mean, adults can take Pedialyte too. Like there's no age limit on Pedialyte. All right. Oh, I mean, if everybody is barfing at the same time, and I suppose, ex like, especially if you have eleven kids, who all live in same same bedrooms. So can she's. I just, can I just say something to you? I'm gonna say this. I feel like we're heading into the season when stuff is going to sell out. So maybe she's just. Stocking. And she does stock up. It's true. She just stocks up at everything. But we should also be wary that other people need to get that stuff too. Okay. Correct. Okay. Can I be right about that? You're right about that. Yeah. See. Right. Okay. Thank you. So of course, Kathy roots for the underdog, but she's saying it's right. She's like, we're heading into the season, and Alicia's right that she has 11 kids and she doesn't want to be caught unaware of. Everybody catches the same bug and they're all barfing and all. I get it. So Kathy says yes, so we listen to Kathy, right? Let's she is a nurse after all. Let's get a new first aid kit for the van. That is random. Because I don't know what happened to the old one. I mean, look at your van. It's probably still in there somewhere. And then there's not enough band-aids in these, so I'm gonna get an extra thing of band-aids. Agreed. This is the only shopping haul that I kind of agree with so far. It's like getting the things you actually need. I'm still making fun of her, of course. That's what we do here. But damn, that was a lot of Pedialyte. <laughs> so much Pedialyte. Okay, I'm gonna stack up on spare toothbrushes. You do not need more toothbrushes. I don't care if you bought, I don't, people are like, oh, you buy a new toothbrush. No, these kids have 400 toothbrushes. So I don't believe that they, they do this anyway. I don't believe it. She's a liar. When she says she like puts out her kids' toothbrushes, no, she doesn't. She doesn't sing them to sleep, okay? She drugs them to sleep. That's what she does, okay? So don't believe this crap. She's, eh. it's weird that she buys so many toothbrushes. Why don't you get them the ones that are electric, that have a little station, right? Put their name on it, station, and you just pop the tip off and put a new tip on. Right? You don't even have to get the ones with the station. You can get the battery-operated ones, or one with a charging dock on it, has their name on it, and just pop the damn tip off. Just get new tips. You're so wasteful. Thumby? Thumbelina? Stop, with, stop pressing your thumb, weird. Anyways. Oh, there it goes. Oh, now I'm having to turn it off. Oh, yeah, I turned it off. Oh, stop. Okay. See, she'll buy battery ones, so she's getting expensive ones. Just get the ones that are chargeable. Like, there are so many things Alicia could do to not waste. If she did a video, she's like, this year, we're going to go with 25% less waste, and here's how we're going to do it. People would watch that video. 
right? They'd be like, good for you, Alicia. You know, we're going to do this. We're going to do less packaging. We're going to do this. We're going to recycle this way. We're not going to do water bottles this year. We're all going to get a nice jug of water, which we already have, and we're going to refill it. We're going to get Culligan guy to come bring our water. And like, imagine she did all these things. People would actually be like, you know what, Alicia, you're listening. Thank God you're listening. But she has such a prideful thing about her and she has to be so much control. She doesn't want to listen, except for once in a blue moon, she'll do something like dress first water. She'll listen, but like months later, she'll change, right? We're all saying these things, Alicia, because you're bad at what you do. And we would actually like you to change. It's not just making fun of you, but you should actually change. Thanks, some of these. Okay, like we're not even a quarter of the way for this video yet. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh, no, I can't. But I'm feeling the snark, you know? All right, I gotta fast. Oh, I gotta, okay. We know, just get 11 toothbrushes. Why don't you buy 400 of them? Who cares? Go get a new one out of the cupboard. Why do you have to count? Just get a bunch. Get them on Amazon. Um, Look at that. She does. She buys the battery ones. And you know what? When they're done with that, they just throw it out with the battery in it. You know they do. Guys, one thing you shouldn't do. Like, I, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not a super environmentalist. I'm not. Okay? I didn't buy a Tesla to, like, be environmental. I bought it because it's badass. It's fast. And it's really cool. And it's got all the bells and whistles. But we do recycle. We do our green bins. We do all that kind of stuff. But, like, don't throw batteries out. Okay? That shit is acidic. Don't throw batteries out. Okay? Your local library or something will always have a place you can recycle your batteries. That's one thing, like, we do. You ever left a battery in a toy for so long you open it up? Have you ever seen what it does to it? It can melt steel. So just, you know, don't throw batteries out. This is Dash. Those keep, like, the same color toothbrush. Orange. Dash is Harley. Oh, my gosh. You don't even know the names of your children. Jordan. Um, I need to get those for Westy, though. They light up for the time you have to brush your teeth. That's really cool, because Westy brushes his teeth. He's like, I'm okay, I'm gonna stop now. No. I want to see how long he goes. Gonna stop now. No. I <laughs> brush his teeth for like 10 minutes. <laughs> gonna stop now. Yeah, you're good. He's like, okay. Red for Bodie. I got to tell you this. Weston is hilarious. I don't think he knows it. Like, he, he has, like, comedic timing, and I'm not sure if that's just because I'm rubbing off on him or whatever. I don't know. I'm not trying to say that. I'm whatever. But like he's, there's something about that kid. He's going to be funny. He's funny. So I gotta get another. It smells like gas in here. Oh, it's on my crock. And then I put it up to my face. Yeah. So it's filling up tanks of gas yesterday, story time. And uh, like when you live in the country, you've got to have generators. I've got two generators. I've got my big jet, my big ass giant lawnmower robot because I sold my ride on and I got this stand up one that's like a zero turn. I don't like it. I suck at it. I suck at it. Okay, it's, I suck at it. Anyway, it has a huge gas tank on it because it's a commercial lawnmower because I have two, you know, two acres to cut. So um, where's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm getting gas. And you pull up the gas station, put your card in, you, you start filling up. And uh, I'm filling up all my gas. Okay, you used to fill up tanks and cost like, you know, I have two big giant Costco tanks and two smaller tanks for the little kids, the little vehicles that they have. And then my big lawnmower and like my power washer and everything. I don't know what I'm telling you all that. Anyway, it was like $75 to fill up these gas cans. And I filled them up a little bit more than you're supposed to pass the line. And I went to pick one up. <laughs> Just gas everywhere, all over me, on my foot, in my shirt. And like even a little bit of gas hits you. That shit sticks forever until you wash it. And I, I guess it fell on my crock because now I always smell gas. And that because I put my crock up, the thing was dancing. <laughs> now gas on my face. There's gas everywhere. Anyway, gas is expensive. It is damned expensive. My, my government can kiss my ass. This carbon tax that they're putting on everybody can kiss everybody's ass. Wait, how can you tax carbon <laughs> like you we're taxing it okay well it's still here it's not going to you think carbon's floating through there like oh my god the tax are high here i'm not coming to this country f off are you serious f off governments like just give us a year next year everybody all the governments be like hey guys next year no taxes just one year off everybody take a break get build up a little bit of savings let's get this except no they're keep doubling down on more and more taxes what is happening to this world we are going to be, like, in Canada specifically, we are taxed, like people who live in California, okay? We are taxed insane amounts. And I'll tell you this again, okay? So my paycheck, I'm taxed like 35%, which is insanity, right? So you get your 30, you get taxed by the government, okay? And then I go to the store to buy something, and then I'm taxed by the government, right? Then I go to get gas, I'm taxed by the government with the money that I've already been taxed on. 
So in the end, I'm paying something like 50 to 65% tax on the goods and services that I enjoy. And everything has increased. Everything. Everything. You can't. Everybody wants to go skiing. Do you know how much skiing costs? Because the, and it used to be it, everything has doubled, if not tripled in price since then. So you know what? People who do taxes and do the, all these governments who force this on your citizens, you know what? F off. Okay? F you. I think I speak for everybody. And if these new governments come in, like if Canada votes in a CP, if Canada votes in a conservative party, okay, fine. But if they don't do what they say they're going to do, axe this carbon tax and stuff like that, kiss everybody's ass. This is what happens. You get this new government in because people are sick of the old one. I know I'm getting political today, but we had a big, 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 big protest on Capitol Hill uh, and all over actually Canada. All over his craziness, okay? Thousands and thousands of parents, Muslims, people like brown people, black people, white people, all came together to voice their opinion on, you just gonna tell us what's happening at school, right? The schools want to keep that from parents in Canada and we're not for it, right? You're seeing a huge uprising. It's big counter protest as well. All this kind of stuff going on. Where was I going with all that? But the, the conservative government didn't speak up about it, right? The, the, you got the NDP, which is the crazy liberals, and then you got liberals who are crazy liberals. They're marching for it. They're saying, yeah, we're all for, you know, we don't want to tell parents anything and all that. And they're, at least they've taken a stance. But our conservative government, who's supposed to be like there, nope, we're not saying a word. Welcome to Canada, man. Bunch of cowards. Okay, but as a guy who's for the protection of children, I'm also for the protection of children inside schools. So that was, if you didn't know what was going on, take a look at, I think it's million, 1 million March for Kids or something like that in Canada. It's been, it's been trending for, for days, days, and days. Okay, we, Mark and I were up in Ottawa for breakfast, and we just decided to walk down. It was crazy, okay? And it was peaceful on both sides. I got to give both sides credit. Everybody was just on their side with their signs. Nobody's fighting. Not like Canada's, like we're like that anyway. I got to give credit where credit is due on both sides. Everybody was kind of peaceful, just laughing. I mean, you look on the side of the other side of the street where the counter protesters were, the few hundred of them, right? They all dress like clowns. I don't, and I don't understand it. And then you look on this side where all the normal people are, and it's it's really disparaging. The disparagement that you see between just how people are dressed and how they're not, you know what I mean? That's crazy. But you also look on the other side and you realize most of those people don't have children. Most of them don't. I mean, 90% of them are young or they're, you know, clearly they don't have kids, you know what I'm saying? And it was just, you know, it's just, I'm commenting on politics today. It's just, it was, but I am for the protection of children and I'm for parents being able to know what's going on in schools. So that's, that's basically what the, what it was all about. I don't think they do. All right. We're still in the toothbrush aisle. Let's get buckets. to the buckets. Buckets. Those look like solo cups. For in case you're eating. Right. Oh, no oh they're, bucket, they're barf buckets. It's, it's a good idea. I mean, she's got this is it. This is the only shopping haul that she needed to do that was legit. Okay, let's go over to the cleaning section. Okay, I made a pit stop because these are on clearance for three dollars. And how those awesome. are legitimately polo shirts, they're real for three dollars. Holy hot. shit, getting it. Walmart in their clearance section gets me every time. <laughs> get lost. Where are we going? Let's get some. Alright, there's bottles, there's dish soap, there's holy dish soap bleach. People are gonna look at our cart and be like, are you making meth? Because we're not selling all that stuff to you. <laughs> she always gets so many eggs. Five dozen and then. So many eggs! Why do their freezers always sound like they're about to go to space in a shuttle? Yeah. Ten. Nine. Eight. Hey. No! No! You don't need more of that! You don't need more! They have 40, 40 cases of Gatorade at home. And now they have 10 bottles of the other stuff. Again, I'll say this. It's the only thing I really agree with her buying because those cookies are the backbone of both of our nations. Hey, those cookies make the world a better place. And if you don't think so, you're wrong. All right, I wanted to do lime sherbet in this We're doing a float challenge. We're going to put bleach and ice cream together. Yeah, challenge. me! Let's see. We'll kill those cold viruses real quick and it'll be tasty. Why 
picked over. Well, you just picked over everything. So when people come after you, they're picked over, you picked over. Man, your ice cream selection. Again, when you see the, just, I'm gonna put it side by side. I'm gonna film mine, and then like in the same video, I'm gonna be like, okay, now let's go to the American version of this side. Hey, right? we'll go to the produce. That's gonna be a cool video, I think. You wait, you just wait. Friendsgiving. Instead of Thanksgiving, because F all the old ways of doing things. We call it Friendsgiving. You know what? No, it's Thanksgiving, okay? If you don't have a family to celebrate Thanksgiving, I, that sucks and I'm really sad for you. But it's still Thanksgiving, okay? It's not Friendsgiving. F off. Try to change things all the time, okay? Let's just stop to a pause. Just be normal for a bit, all right? Everybody agree? Oh, man, my background should be red. I'm wearing a red thing. Like, let's do the red. Is this not working? Yeah, that's way better. Okay, we got it. Ice cream, strawberries, blueberries that no one's gonna eat. All right, Holy shit! Mara Chen by proxy. Ramen soup. I'm gonna do self checkout, but I'm just gonna over here for the sandwich containers. Sandwich containers. Just use a baggie. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, don't. Get sandwich containers, because they're reusable. Good one, Alicia. Good one. Proud of you, Alicia. I'm proud of you today. I found them at the other Walmart. She's going to do all this one hand. With one hand, she can do this. Boop. Holy, this is a midweek haul. Look at that. <laughs> what was it? The span? Look at how clean it is. Oh, she got her car cleaned. Thank God. And it smells so nice. Delta got Sonic. New car scent. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah. I, it covers up the smell of feet. That's okay, good. This is my van. <laughs> It'll stay clean for a day. What's there packing tape on your window? I'm just uh, enjoying this one day. Here <laughs> You're is funny. The Here we go. The receipts. Merp. 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 I don't know what I had to get ID for. The cough medicine. A I'm what? Confused. Five hundred and fifty, five hundred seventy-eight dollars <laughs> midweek. Holy shit! That's my monthly Costco bill. Monthly, if not even less. I pay less, sometimes way less than that. That's a midweek, midweek between shoppings. Everybody, five hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Holy! Some waters in here, like a case of water for when we're out and about. Now you can keep a case of, what's that stuff called? PD light. <laughs> Loaded in. This Walmart is always super busy. Okay, we're halfway through, you're done. Now what are you doing? I'm like processing that putting this all away is going to mean Reorganizing the medicine cabinets. Oh, I gotta see this medicine cabinet. I gotta see it. Their medicine cabinets the size of most people's fridges. That's a lot, man. So get someone else to do it. You have kids. A and D. You guys go get all the old medicine out, sort by stuff that you know that's no long expired, blah blah blah. Get someone else to do something, Alicia. You would feel so much better, and your kids might want to. They might want to help. Maybe they do. They probably don't, but then maybe they do. And they'll feel rewarded for helping. I don't know. Get your kids to help. There is this one hair in my mustache that's tickling my nostril. I meant to get some masks. These or the kids will eat them before dessert tonight. Or just say, kids, those cookies are for dessert. Don't touch them. Give it like a bunny holine. Don't touch them. <laughs> just tell them not to touch them. Like, are you serious? Can't just tell your kids something? Why you wear the ugliest shoes that ever exist ever? You know, there's cute shoes you can buy, right? You get the ugliest, like you're going hiking afterwards with all your friends that have those shoes with all the toes in them. But you don't hike, that's the thing. You don't, stop wearing that shit. Okay, I'm gonna look at this medicine cap. Get your Mr. Noodles in there. Um. Holy, she said how many drinks they have! Holy! General. 
The yeah. sugar on that shelf could kill a rhinoceros. Right. Or should keep the white claw. I'll put these mini ginger ales in there. Why did you get mini ginger ales? What was that? What was that supposed to something telling me something? What is that? It means something's going on. What's going on? Right, we go through at least a loaf a day. Okay, so you got four days worth of bread there. It's all gonna be, just keep it in the fridge then. A fridge, you don't have to freeze it, but keep it in the fridge. But freeze are better, then you have fresher. They don't even eat it anyway, so what am I saying? They don't eat the, they don't eat the things she makes, so. One loaf makes 10 sandwiches, so even just one lunch is more than a loaf, and then. You're more than a loaf. My football player teenagers are always sneaking themselves midnight sandwich, sandwich snacks. Oh, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I gotta get dinner in the crack pot. You're a crack, okay, you're a crack pet. I've done this before, so I'll just do this really. That okay, crock pot is literally a bathtub. <laughs> Look at this. And anyway, what? Here's what's gonna happen. She's gonna put one of those things out. Right? Put it in there. And then she's gonna go with Pam. Put it like, oh, it's bug spray. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And then she's gonna put all the shit in there and one, and it's gonna come out looking like barf. That's what's gonna happen here. I've seen our chicken fajita recipe because it's really good and really easy and one It's not. The only things that some of my it's not really good. kids like love and request. I don't know why I haven't made it in forever. I think I get like we get like sick of recipes now and we make them so No, they get sick of your disgusting food. Much, and then we're like need Be a real. break from it to appreciate Be it. real. But anyways. Chicken chicken. Okay, let's do this. Wait, wait, did she do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, she didn't put the all thing in, though. Of my four liners. Oh, she's no, all out of liners. But let's spray this tons of oil in here. Ah, look at that going. <laughs> it's so much oil. Oh, my God, Alicia. Chicken. You don't need, it's like a non-stick damn thing anyway. Press, onions. And if you're putting a liner in, you don't need to spray it with oil. The liner is you just throw it out. Oil's just like doesn't stick. It's not gonna stick anyway. You're making a thing. So, anyway, let's fast forward. What are those doggies doing? Because they are not hovering around me right now as I make dinner. So that's. So you're just special. here's a giant piece of pepper. Cut them up, lady. Which get better knife. Which they're not supposed to, but you know, that's the stuff they do when I'm not home. <laughs> Lock, close your door, dumbass. That's it? That's what you do? It looks gross. So then. Here's my a, bag of meds. A lot of this stuff. It's gonna go in these two cabinets. I was. Is she gonna open it? Open the cabinet. I dare you to open the cabinet, Alicia. I'm gonna do it right now, but I don't have time. Oh, yes. Oh. It's gonna be an overhaul. Oh. It's gonna be a tomorrow project. It's not, that, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But at least we like got the shopping part done. So thank you for coming to Water. <laughs> thanks for hey, Water. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. Are you? That's nice. No one cares. You're a liar. I'll see you next time. F off. Anyway, here we go. Friday snark, feeling good. Boom, got the flannel on. People like the flannel. Thanks for being here, everybody. Take a deep breath with me, okay? It's Friday. <sighs> Feels good. Do yourself a favor if you get a chance. I don't know if you can. Go see a comedy show. I haven't done one in a long time. Like, like the last comedy show I saw was probably on a cruise ship or like the big one was Dane Cook at the Air Canada Center. Dane Cook, that's a long ago, okay? Comedy, like people laughing... You know, making, I would love the ability to make people laugh like comedians do. I'd love to be able to like remember the jokes and tell them how they do that. That is on my bucket list to do some kind of stand up comedy someday, but I don't know how they do it. I have a terrible memory, but they're really, really good. John Christ, go see him. It's not that expensive, and it will, you will leave just feeling a cloud nine, okay? Just amazing. It was really, really, really great show. And he had a really good message at the end. You don't have to like it. They talk, again, it's really good if you did grow up in a Christian world and church and stuff like that, but you don't have to. It's still hilarious really really funny so make sure you do that and just have some fun maybe take hubby out on a date take wifey out on a date do something go on a date i encourage you to go on a date i don't do a lot of dates and last night made me realize after we went to red lobster and stuff like that like once a month 
you're putting it in the calendar. I don't care if it, because it lands different because of our shifts and stuff like that, but it is a priority now that we kind of landed and we're moved and we're settled. It's like, it was it was really, really important to do that. So I don't know, I just encourage you guys to do the same thing. Make and plan, go out on dates, okay? And make and like specifically just go. Now, because now we have people to watch our kids and we have family here and it's great. So, I mean, do what you got to do to get out away from everything and go have some fun, watch a movie, go for a walk. Do something, go to a, one of those puzzle rooms or whatever you call those things. Do something you never done. Go bingo. Go to bingo. It's fun. Okay? I'm going to do that with my wife once a month now. I'm very excited about it. It was really, really good. I had a good time. My wife's, my wife's some kind of something. And so are you. And I will see you when I see you.